Hello everybody, um, I have a massive box in front of me right now, would you like to see it? Here is my massive box in front of me right now and this box is full of books which makes me really quite happy um, and I wanted to do a haul video of books that I've been sent recently from publishers. Now I am really 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 lucky in the fact that publishers send me books to review. Um, when I started book reviewing I could have never have dreamed that this would be happening and I would get free books through the post. To me this is like I win the lottery every single day when a book comes through the door um, and like it just means so much that publishers actually want to send me them and value my opinion of them so it's really really lovely that they do that. Um, now this isn't like a video to like kind of brag or show off or anything I just kind of want to share with you what the books I've got recently um, because I love to know what you guys want to re read reviews for um, and what you're excited about reading because then it makes me want to, you know, write these reviews quicker for you so that you can see what I think of it. Um, so I'm going to start off by doing this haul. Most of these books um, are uh, published in February or March, I think, um, and some of them have already been published and I bought them myself, so I'll let you know which ones are those. And also, um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something I've forgotten. That was really clever of me, wasn't it? Um, this video is going really well so far. Anyway, I'll start doing it and then it'll probably come back to me what I was going to say. So, I'm going to start off with the books that I bought myself. And these are two books that I got because I one of them I've already read and I wanted a copy for my shelf because I read it um, from a library copy. And then the other one was part of the Richard and Judy book club at the moment, which I wanted to read too. So the first one I got was Geek Girl by Holly Smile because I... This was the, uh, sorry, Geek Girl Model Miss Witch's second in the series um, because I got, I've got the first one and I loved it and then I borrowed the second one from the library and I loved it as well and it was only about £3.50 I think on Amazon. Now yes I know Amazon but I had a voucher for Amazon again so I'm really sorry but don't buy things at Amazon if you can buy them elsewhere. But yes I got this one, Geek Girl, and it looks lovely on the shelf next to the other one so that was the first one I got. And the second one I bought was Apple Tree Yard by Louise... Doherty, Do Doherty, I'm not sure how you say that name, sorry. Um, but I was really like dubious about this one because um, like normally I really love the Richard and Judy book club picks but this month, or this like hot quarter of a year, like the spring book club or everyone now, like a lot of the books just don't seem to like excite me. I mean I've read The Rosie Project which is on there which I absolutely adore so I'm really happy about that. And then there's a new Jodie Picoult but I'm not really that much of a fan of Jodie Picoult because all of her books to me just seem to be quite similar. Um, and then I can't really think of any others that really stood out and made me think, yeah, I want to read that. This was the only one that really kind of took my fancy. And I did um, Facebook about it and I asked people whether they'd read it and whether they would recommend it. And quite a lot of people said that they had read it and they did think it was really good. So I'm going to trust Richard and Judy and I'm going to go with it. And I'm going to give this one a read quite soon and let you guys know what I think. But yeah, I'm quite excited about this one actually, now that I've got it. Um, so now I'm going to move on to books that I've been sent by publishers. Um, this one... This book is called The Memory of Walter by M Emmy Itaran Itaranta, sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, I can't quite work out what it is. Um, but this one I got sent because I'm part of the um, Harper Impulse uh, revolutionary blogger thing where um, we all help promote Harper Impulse and as rewards they send us things through the post um, and this was one of the rewards they sent me so I'm really excited about this one um, because I think it's... Uh, like told, it's, um, I need to put my teeth in and get my brain in gear. Uh, it has been translated, um, so I'm be interested in that because I don't have to read a lot of translated fiction to be honest. Um, but I like the sound of this book and I think the cover is quite haunting so I'll be interested to see how this one is. And I think the cover's a bit scary actually. Sometimes when I see it sitting on my shelf I think, oh my god, she's watching me. So, a bit scary. Um... I don't know what I'm doing anymore, I'm just talking rubbish, aren't I? Anyway, let's carry on, Laura. Put your head on your face and... See? I just say the weirdest things in the world, don't I? The Darling Girls by Emma Burstall. Three women, one man and a tangle of lies. Now, the lovely, lovely, lovely Becky at Head of Zoo sent me this. Um, she is the one of the nicest publisher people I know in the entire universe. And she sent me this. This is about... Three women in love with the same man meet for the first time at his funeral. What more could you want from a book than that, really? Um, lovely cover, 
really lovely cover really excited to read this one this comes out in february or march i'm not sure but i will definitely um be reviewing that one as soon as i can the next one i got sent was from i think it's from hodder yeah hodder and it is a million guilty pleasures which is the sequel to bear with me a million dirty secrets um and this is a duet um which i guess means like a two books i've never heard of that before a duet of books i've heard of like a, a trilogy um but i never heard of a duet that's strange but yeah not that it's strange that there's two in a series but i mean i've never heard it called a duet before strange anyway yeah these are like two um books together i haven't actually read this one yet um because i knew because this one said an erotic duet i thought oh i wonder whether the second when the second one will be out so i waited till the second one came out so i can read them in succession so that i can kind of keep up with the characters because i like doing that i like waiting until both series are out or both of the se this isn't going well is it <laughs> i like waiting until like b books in a series are out so i can read them all in one go because then it makes me less frustrated when i finish a book and i'm like i need to know what happens next um the next one i got sent is from i think Quirkus, yeah, and it is called The Riot by Laura Wilson. Now, somebody at Quirkus contacted me about this and said, Do you want to read it? And I kind of read the blurb and I was like, Hmm, not something I would perhaps normally go for, but because I'm trying to branch out and read more fiction that I wouldn't normally read, I want to give this a go. And this is 1958, Notting Hill is sweltering in a heat wave. It's D.I. Stratton's new manner and a powder keg of racial tension. Now, I think that um, the detective in this book is actually um like a series of books and i think this is like one in the series so i don't know if i'll be able to read this as um a kind of like what's the word on like an individual in as a standalone that's what i was looking for i don't know if i'll be able to read this as a standalone um or whether it will be a little bit confusing because there might be kind of links to previous books that she's talked about but you never know and i've just got a text on my phone this is why you should never film on your phone because now there's a text i can't see what i'm doing so i'm just going to close up sorry guys this is the worst kind of video i've ever made the next one is also from quirkus and this is called the missing file by d a misani and again not a book that i would normally read but i thought you know what it's quite a short book i'll give it a go and this is um, about a 16 year old boy who's vanished in Tel Aviv sorry if I pronounced that wrong Detective Inspector Avram knows that children are, never, children are never kidnapped or killed in Israel but this time he is wrong um, Avram struggles to picture the boy, his life, his family but he remains as elusive as, as his non-existent trail only the boy's neighbour shares Avram's quiet obsession so sounds a bit confusing, sounds strange because I can't actually get my words out today properly but really kind of excited about this one because I like kind of branching into genres and authors that I don't really know much about. The next book I got sent from Penguin and I'm really excited about this because they sent me a proof, actually no, I tell you like, the author sent me a proof copy of this book that was signed and Penguin sent me the final copy of The Dead Wife's Handbook by Hannah Beckerman and it's gorgeous and also bloody lucky or what it's also signed as well so I've got the proof copy signed and I've got the final copy signed and I've got a Kindle version of it so I mean, if you could, I don't know how many more versions of this book I could want, but I'm really happy that I got sent this because I know this is going to sound really weird, but when I get proof copies um, and then publishers are really kind and send me the finished copy, I always like to put the finished copy on my shelf and not even touch it or read it, and then I read the proof copy instead, um, which is a strange thing to do, I know, because you would have thought that I would want to read the finished beautiful thing, but I like to keep this as pristine as I possibly can, so this is going to go straight on my bookshelf when I finish this video. Um, but yeah, I'm actually halfway through this book at the moment on the Kindle because I got it from NetGalley. So um, I'm really quite, I'm finding it quite um, an interesting read. Um, but I'll talk about it more when I do a review of it. But yeah, definitely a book that I think you should all watch out for because it's definitely going to be a bestseller this year, I reckon. Next, I'm going to show you some books that I got from a publishing company called Arcadia. And this was, these. this was the... These were the books that came in the box that I've got here um, and all of these, I think the whole um, kind of premise behind Arcadia books is that they um, publish translated fiction so it's all kind of fiction from different countries that have been translated so the first book that they sent me is called Cold Hearts by Gunnar Stal Stalison, I think um, and it's actually now a major motion picture apparently and it's an international bestseller 
Um, I've never heard of it before in my life, which is strange. You would have thought I would have heard of it, but I haven't. Um, but this, I like the kind of look of the cover and the blurb. Um, one, on a frosty January day in Bergen, Norway, private investigator Varg Voom is visited by a prostitute. Her friend Margaret T has disappeared and hasn't been seen for days. Before her disappearance, something had unsettled her. She turned away a customer and returned to the neighbourhood in terror. Shortly after taking the case, Beam is confronted with a brutal, uneasy reality. He soon finds the first body, and it won't be the last. His investigation leads him into a dark subculture where corrupted idealism has had deadly consequences. So I really like the sound of that book. Um, definitely one I want to read. And also, I think this is if this is a Norwegian crime, I am quite a big fan of Norwegian crime. I love... Um, Anne Holt, um, I think that's her name, um, she's, I think she's Norwegian, and I also love um, Hans Koppel, I think that's his name, um, who's also Norwegian, so definitely, or maybe he's Swedish, I'm not sure, but I do like kind of that kind of Norwegian thriller type thing. The next one they sent me is called The Breath of Night by Michael Ar Arditi, I think that's how you say your name, sorry if I've got it wrong, um, let's see what this one's about. Uh, Julian Tremaine is a missionary priest in a remote Philippine village during the Marcos dictatorship. After championing the communist rebels, he finds himself in prison for the murder of a local military commander. Three decades later, following his own mysterious, de mysterious death, a cult develops around Julian, whose intercession is credited with miraculous healing, and there are calls for him to be made a saint. When Philip Seawood is sent out from England to investigate on behalf of Julian's family, he is drawn into a labyrinth of vice, violence and corruption, where nothing and nobody are what they seem. So, that sounds interesting. Um, can't say this is a book that I would pick up and read for myself. I don't think if I was in a bookshop I'd pick this up and read it, but this is the really amazing thing about publishers, is they send me books that I would normally kind of shy away from and not read, but the fact they give them to me and then I have them in my kind of life and are able to actually look at them and read them is really exciting, so definitely looking forward to that one. And I also think the cover is really beautiful for that as well. Lovely cover. The next one that they sent me is called Paris Requiem by Lisa Appi Nancy. Again, sorry if I've got your name wrong, but I don't think um, it's an English name, so I'm not very good. Sorry about that. Um, Paris 1899, capital of the crime Passionel. The city is electric with excitement. Preparations for the Universal Exhibition and the dawn of a new century have hit fever pitch, but the central spectacle of the Belle Epoque is overshadowed by racial and social tensions as the Dreyfus Affair unleashes a riotous surge of anti-Semitism. A gripping psychological period thriller, Paris Requiem presents a hotbed of vice and murderous entanglements against an atmospheric backdrop of deeply troubling historical events. So I think I might have to do a bit of historical reading um, and look up what the Dreyfus affair is first before I read this, otherwise I don't know whether I'll actually understand what's going on. But again, I like books like that that challenge you and make you kind of want to find out more and learn things, because um, as much as I love like chiclet books um, and books along those kind of lines, you never really learn much in, in terms of like history or um, anything kind of like that, because it's all very kind of modern day and like family drama problems whereas books like these um, when they're set in period times are really interesting because it gives you the chance to like learn about things that you wouldn't necessarily have chosen to learn about before so definitely interested to read that one it's quite a thick one let's see how many pages this one is uh 506 so that's quite a chunky one but i'm definitely excited to read that one and then the next one that they sent me is called cloudland by joseph o Shan or o san i think Again, sorry for my awful pronunciation. Um, out walking during an early spring thaw in the desolate countryside of Upper Vermont, Catherine Winslow discovers the body of a woman leaning against an apple tree. The woman, reported missing during a blizzard weeks ago, no, sorry, during a blizzard weeks earlier, is believed to be the latest victim of a serial killer who, Catherine soon discovers, seems to be modelling his killings on an extremely rare, unfinished Wilkie Collins novel that has been in her library until she suddenly finds it missing. Complicating this confusion, Catherine's much younger lover from a failed affair has unexpectedly resurfaced and is trying to, ma to manoeuvre his way back into her life. Elegant, haunting and profoundly gripping, Cloudland is an ingenious psychological trap baited with murder, deception and the intricacies of desire. Sorry that I haven't got my teeth in today, this is really bad. But um, yeah, I like the sound of that one a lot actually. Not too keen on the cover, I have to say, probably not one that would make me see it in a bookshop and reach for it straight away, but... 
Again, I need to stop, you know, judging books by their cover. I like the sound of the blurb, so definitely one that I'm interested and excited to read. Then this is the final one they sent me, but no, by last but no means least, is that what they say? Um, this is probably my favourite. Not my favourite cover, actually. Probably, well, yeah, it kind of is my favourite cover of them all. It is Rosemary Friedman's The Man Who Understood Women and Other Stories. I quite like the typeface. I prefer the back cover. I think that's really pretty. The man on the front is a bit scary there, but still it's quite pretty. Um, let's see what this one is about. Rosemary Friedman has a wicked ear for dialogue and her short stories are like well-aimed hand grenades. From the spinsterish librarian who opens the door for her female readers to fulfil their fantasies through the man whose life is haunted by an acid adolescent misdemeanor and a sad sexually predatory New York millionaires to the streetwise divorcee who briskly rotests her internet date. These delightful stories written over the past 50 years provide a witty and poignant portrayal of women in a rapidly changing world. As they prepare to overturn centuries of tradition, lead fuller lives and dismiss the idea that marriage is only an acceptable goal, these empowered women follow Ibsen's Nora out of the doll's house towards a brighter and more exciting future. And that excites me because I know who um, Nora from the doll's house is because I studied that at school. So first of all, Hallelujah, because there's a literary reference, and I get it, and I understand, which is so exciting. Um, sorry, no, no need for me to get so excited, but I actually quite like the sound of this, actually. Short books about, or short stories about women, and kind of coming, and becoming more women-y, and less kind of controlled and things by men. See, I really need to stop talking now, don't I? Um... And the final two books that I've got, uh, this one was sent from Quarkus as well, and this is Hester Brown's The Vintage Girl. Um, I've actually got Hester Brown's previous novel called... Tell you what, I can actually get off the shelf now for you. Oh, everything's falling down. It's called The Runaway Princess by Hester Brown, and it's quite a chunky one compared to this one. Um, but I haven't actually read this one yet, and I feel so guilty. But um, yes, I'm excited because again, if I like this one, then I can go straight onto this one, which is going to be exciting. And I love that the fact that the covers kind of match, and that they're both kind of greeny, pinky, lovely, loveliness. So definitely looking forward to reading those. And then finally, the last book that I've got, which was the most exciting book post I think I've got in a long time, came in a massive box, and there was this book, but there's also a massive bottle of wine with it, and I was like wow what have I done to deserve this bottle of wine but they sent me a bottle of rosé to tie in with a book called The Midnight Rose and they've called the wine The Midnight Rosé clever um, now you might have remembered me talking about this a while ago because I actually have a proof of this one but they decided to send me a finished copy as well and I think the finished copy is beautiful so thank you to Pan for sending me this really lovely surprise and definitely a book that I am now really excited to read and review so thank you very much for that, that made my day. So, <laughs> sorry that this video has been a bit all over the place and that I can't seem to get any of my words out today, but that is kind of a haul of all the books I've got recently for review. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and if there's any books in this list that you are excited to read or any books that you've got yourself that you've read, let me know because um, I always love hearing talking to you guys and hearing what you've read and what you would recommend and which ones you're most excited about. So, yes. Thank you for watching guys, I apologise for not having my teeth in this video, but I promise you next time I will be more comp- See, I can't even find the word. I will be more comprehensible, That's is that the right word? I don't know, but whatever happens, next video I will stop talking such rubbish, so I'll see you then. Thank you very much guys for watching, I'll see you soon, bye!